Well, you guys got another video. Microsoft has finally launched its controversial recall feature to Windows 11. Now, before you start panicking, it's only available for Copilot Plus PCs like this one I'm on right here. I'll show you the Win version right here. You can see version 24H2 and you can see the build there and it's Windows 11 Pro. So before you start panicking, uh, Windows Recall is only available right now on Copilot Plus PCs or laptops. This is a Copilot Plus laptop. And again, it's only going to be available for these right now. Now, another question that you might have, is it compulsory? Is it running as soon as you turn it on or turn the PC on? And the answer to that is no. Microsoft have opted for an opt-in option so it's not going to be running on the system right out of the box. You can see here, this is a Snapdragon uh, system. And again, this means it's compatible for recall. So that means that all those people that were saying that this is compulsory, is running in the background, it's going to be copying all your data and sending it back to Microsoft. All that stuff is not happening. So you can see right here, recall and snapshots, manage your recall and snapshots preferences, choose an app, and website to filter and you can see here click to do a preview right here you can see right out of the box it says recall requires you to set up a facial or fingerprint recognition on your device with uh, windows hello so you're going to have to set that up before it would even be turned on also you have to turn on the device encryption to use recall on this particular laptop so to clarify you're going to need a copilot plus pc or laptop with a certain particular CPU in there for it to even have recall on the system. So it's not compulsory. It's not running in the background, capturing all your data and sending it back to Microsoft. Also, Windows Recall is an AI powered feature that captures encrypted screenshots of your screen activity, allowing you to scroll through uh, the timeline of those captured screenshots. This is where the big problem lies with a lot of people. And I'm one of them. I really am not a big fan of Windows Recall. I'm just showing you here just so you can see. So on this uh, system, I can go into the privacy and control over your Recall experience. So if you are looking to use Recall, then obviously this is something for you because I'm particularly not interested in Recall whatsoever. But I will point out that users do have a choice from the start. This is the new thing that Microsoft have introduced. So for each new user on the device, the user can opt in to saving snapshots using Recall. If you don't choose to opt in, it will be off by default and snapshots will not be saved. You can also remove Recall by going to the Turn Windows features on or off in Windows. So it's not compulsory and it's not going to be forced on you uh, to use recall from the get-go but there's nothing like a bit of fear mongering to get those views on those youtube videos like a lot of people seem to fall for so really at the end of the day so for privacy and security measures recall operates entirely on your device with no data uploaded to the cloud snapshots are encrypted using windows hello enhanced sign-in security and it's also all of the data is stored locally that being said there has been tons of of security concerns from security experts saying that this is not acceptable. And of course, I'm one of those people, I don't particularly like this idea of recall whatsoever, but I'm gonna go through it in this video just to show you, Microsoft have made major changes to this feature to try and make it as safe as possible because they do believe that it is going to be used by a lot of people. So what are the potential uh, privacy risks? Well, despite encryption, Recall has been criticized for capturing sensitive information such as passwords or financial details. It's not properly filtered, and this data can persist in snapshots even if it's deleted from applications. Now, Microsoft have upped their game and basically uh, blurred out or filtered out this sort of information so it doesn't actually store this sort of information. But again, knowing Microsoft, they probably haven't done their homework and it's probably not going to be 100% foolproof. Now, let's check that turn Windows features on or off to see whether you can actually remove Recall this way because at first it disappeared and there was a lot of people saying that, uh, you know, it was a mistake, it's not supposed to be there, but Microsoft have actually officially added it to the turn 
Windows features on or off. You can see right here. So if I was to remove this check mark, click OK, this will remove the recall feature from this laptop and you won't be forced to use it. You can go through a bunch of other steps. I'll make a separate video on showing you how to completely, uh, you know, disable this on a laptop that is recall compliant, i.e. Copilot plus PCs and laptops. So you can remove it. Now, I know you're going to get some paranoid peeps that believe that this will still be running even if you turn it off and it's still capturing your data and sending it to Microsoft. You can't help some people, but sensitive data filtering by Microsoft has been implemented filters to exclude sensitive information like passwords and credit card numbers and stuff like that from snapshots. However, these filters may not catch all of the instances and users can disable uh, these if they desire. Now that sounds like that if you don't turn it off when you're doing sensitive information like banking and things like that, it could still capture stuff and it might not block all that stuff out. And they're putting that onto the user to actually turn it off while they're doing that sort of stuff. So it's going to be a bit of a turn it on, turn it off sort of feature when you're doing certain things, which I think is just a bit silly. It should be good enough to blur all that stuff out if they're going to have it enabled on the system in the first place. So you can't put that onto the user because that's exactly what Microsoft are probably going to do and say that you should have turned it off when you're doing banking. That way you can be 100% sure that it's not going to take any snapshots of sensitive information. So it's not foolproof and I just certainly wouldn't use it altogether, but some people might want to. Now I'm not going to enable it on here. If you do want to see a separate video on me actually using uh, Windows Recall, let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to make that video for you. I'll set up some sort of dummy account and get it set up. But again, I really particularly don't want to do that. So I'm going to show this right here, which is a preview, which is unlock your photographic memory with recall. And you can see it basically here. You can use the slider to go back in time and it will bring back all of those snapshots right here, which is something like this on the screen where you can slide it back and it will go back to that particular point in time. So let me go ahead and click on next here and it will show you the next slides where it says you're in control of your privacy and there is a little window that pops up in the bottom right hand corner which I haven't turned on because I haven't set up the recall on this particular device because I don't particularly want to but if you guys want to actually see it in action then let me know and I'll do that for you so it is going to let you manage your snapshots you can delete snapshots uh, ranging from the past hour up to the past month there's also an option to delete all captured snapshots in one go and recall also sets a maximum storage size of your snapshots if you want to do that as well you can do i will show you that in a full video if you want to in this video i'm just talking about this new feature that they've actually just released uh, because it was shelved for a while so here you can see let's get started with recall it gives you all the information right here you're only going to get access to all of this if you have a recall compliant uh, copilot plus laptop or pc so you can see you do have to jump for a few hoops to get this set up by default. It's not going to be turned on. So you will need to set up all this stuff. So if you want to run a local account with Recall, it's not going to be possible. You are going to have to have a Microsoft account for this to run. Now, also activation and access to Recall is not enabled by default, which we've already mentioned. You must opt in to start saving snapshots. So that is than one of the key features that Microsoft have now implemented. So you're going to have to go through and enable a lot of this stuff right here. So just to be clear, that uh, excludes and limitations, Recall does not capture content from private browsing sessions, DRM uh, protected media, or uh, one of those images sent via uh, applications like WhatsApp or Telegram. However, it still record sensitive information if applications do not follow standard security protocols. Another thing to remember is it does have enhanced search capabilities, which is integrated into the Windows search. Also, it does have user specific types of data. So recall data is stored separately from each user account on the PC. Other users on the same device cannot access your snapshots unless they are signed in to your account so that makes it a little bit safer so in a nutshell if you've got three people using the same laptop or pc which is a copilot plus pc then obviously they would need to sign into your microsoft account to be able to view your snapshots 
they're not going to be able to see them. So the big thing for Recall is you can retrace your steps. Recall allows you to retrace the steps by reviewing the timeline of your activities, which is a big fear for a lot of people. This can also be helpful for recalling information or tasks that you've worked on previously. So whatever you've been doing on your computer previously, this will also allow you to retrace your tracks and go back to that point in time. This was where the big concern was. And there's other things about recall that people just don't like. But remember, it's not compulsory. It is an opt-in feature. And if you've bought a Copilot Plus PC or laptop, you can uninstall it. And you will need a Microsoft account and you need to do all of this stuff for it to even work. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are still on the tinfoil hat brigade where they're super paranoid that this is still capturing data and send it back to Microsoft. And I do think Microsoft have implemented security measures to try and protect recall data as much as they can, including encryption and secure storage. However, there is still going to be some major concerns over breach of you know, privacy and things like that. So I don't think recall is going to be for everyone. I'm certainly one of those people that just don't simply want recall on the system. So if you do own a Copilot Plus PC or Copilot Plus laptop, then you will see this feature here. An update will come down and it will start to embed all of the stuff here ready for the use of recall if you choose to opt in to use it. If you're on a standard Windows uh, system, i.e. you've got a standard Intel processor or a standard AMD processor, as it is right now, that is not going to be available to you and it's not going to even be implemented onto that system. So you can see it wants to set up a face recognition on there as well. The camera's turned off. I've already left that off, but that's basically it. So whether you love it or hate it, it's actually now officially released and rolled out to these Copilot Plus PCs and laptops. So if you've one of those people that do have one of those and you've just purchased it, you can check your keyboard. It will have the Copilot uh, logo on the actual keyboard. If it's one of those, then you've got a Copilot Plus PC. You can always check the system specs. And if it's a Snapdragon or something like that, then you've probably got a Copilot Plus compatible PC, which means that Recall will be uh, disabled by default, but it will be there and you can remove it in the turn windows features on or off by removing that check mark. And I'll make a separate video showing you how to completely disable it altogether just to stop it even coming back on. Anyway, I hope this video has been informative and useful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. Also, I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our new Discord server. The link is in the video description. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>